far more immediate pressing concerns for the storm responsible for the redirection of that splashdown. We're getting some of the best rain out of this system right now. And our first alert weather day is focused primarily on this most widespread band of rain, which you can see on first alert Doppler right here, moving into the North Bay. That's the leading edge of the storm. It's the cold front. And that's where we're going to see some of the most impressive rain of the whole day. But it's going to rain for a while. So this will keep going until we get through pretty much Sunday. There'll be plenty of breaks, but there's also a lot of rain to get through over the next 48 hours. You can kind of see the organized line extending diagonally. That's our cold front. We can put that into the future cast. We see it there. We can play that forward. It's still there by the time we get to the late morning, only a little better organized now. And that gets us into the 11 o'clock hour when we're seeing it come right through the heart of the bay from the city over to Oakland. It then marches its way south, gets down to the South Bay. By the time we get into the afternoon, you can still see that organized line there. It's holding together as it marches its way across the bay. And then once we get into the later afternoon, we start to pull in reinforcements more weaker organized lines come through. But as we get to this phase of the afternoon, even though we're not seeing as widespread steady rain for everybody at the same time, once we get into the later afternoon, what we are seeing are more organized lines, even though they're maybe a little more narrow and they don't last as long, but you can get thunderstorms mixed in here and brief little downpours with this as well. So those just keep coming through. We're not really going to get a whole lot of a break until we get till the overnight hours and the early morning hours of Sunday. And even at then, it's kind of like a, a head fake in terms of getting much of a break at all, because watch what comes in on Sunday as we go into the afternoon. That's actually the center of the system. Once again, you can see this band all rotating around the center of the low as it moves across the bay. That's Sunday afternoon. So we're not done until really we get to Sunday night. And between now and then, we're going to pick up a decent amount of rain, about an inch and a half for some of those wetter spots in the North Bay and maybe an inch and three quarters for some of the other wetter spots that get some of the best rain. The good thing about a number that's that high is it's coming over two days. So that'll give us enough time for the rain to kind of move through the landscape and even move through the urban environment. And even though brief localized ponding of water is possible, some minor street flooding is possible in this scenario, this is the kind of rain that's prolonged enough over two days to get an inch and three quarters where we're not expecting significant flooding. It is windy, though, on the leading edge of this. Right now, it's the windiest part of the whole thing. We've got gusts in the mid-30s for most locations. Watch the screens start to quiet down as we get into the afternoon and evening. And the wind advisory is going to be allowed to expire at 3 o'clock this afternoon. But from now until then, some of the strongest wind of this event, gusting from 35 to 40 miles an hour. And certainly a significant storm in the Sierra. We're going to get several feet of snow up here. We're looking at uh, likely another perhaps four feet in general and more than that at the higher elevations. There is a winter storm warning until 4 a.m. on Monday up there. It is going to be really difficult travel in the mountains. Daytime highs today are going to be in the upper 50s and we can see the next system coming our way right here. That one is the reason why in the seven day forecast there's a chance of rain that shows up for Wednesday and Thursday of next week. More on that one as we get closer to it. Here's our first alert weather day right here. We still have showers on Sunday, but it won't be the more impactful side of what we're seeing for like the first half of today. Uh, and then we get a break from Monday and Tuesday, and then we'll track that next system for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Much more detail on that one as we get closer to it. It's going to be busy around here, particularly today, Deb, and we'll be tracking this throughout the day and the afternoon. You know, the timing and tempo of these storms is almost perfect. You want the storms... Then you want to break and then more storms. Yeah. I mean, if, if we wanted drought mitigation that so far, this is the way you'd want it to look. Let's hope this keeps going for a while. All right. Thank you. You've